Today on the channel, we continue our deep dive into the Jax Classic Superstars world with the Pro Figures exclusives, Hulk Hogan Bash at the Beach, Dusty Rhodes Polka Dots. The spirit of the will run Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Jax Classic Superstars video. A trademark here on the channel for going over two years now, if you can believe that. Now, we've walked our way through every single list imaginable, breaking down the Classic Superstars line here on the channel, talking top 10 lists, top 10 favorites, least favorites, what I wish would have came out, all that kind of stuff. We've done that for the last couple of months. We also, before that, as most of you guys are fully aware by now, and if not, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel, hit up the old Jax Class Superstars playlist. You got two years of videos to watch. You too can be a Jax Class Superstars expert. But now, here's my thought process, and you guys in the comments, let me know if you're here for this, but you guys know a couple months back, I bought an insane Jax Classic Superstars collection, basically every single figure that they ever released. Now, we deep dived, we went set by set, we talked about the packaging, talked about stuff, we did all those videos already. Now it's almost akin to starting over, is what I'm thinking about doing here. Once again, want the feedback from you guys if we should continue this series or move on to something else. Uh, keep Jack's Class Superstars going. But now that I have all these, I have these to open. As I've decided, I'm going to have my mid on card set, but I'm also going to have a loose set. So what I'm going to do is, in a lot of cases unbox a lot of these things so are you wanting to do traditional reviews of the jacks class superstars we show the packaging we talk about it we unbox it we talk about it and go from there uh are you guys up for that you guys got to let me know in the comments below and that's where we kind of are here today as some of them however i already have loose i don't have to unbox so that's what we're going to do we'll pepper a few of those in like today but then other ones it's going to be full-on unboxings but we basically going to work our way through the jacks class superstar series again but talk more from a loose perspective and more about the detail of the figure than the prior videos where we just talked about what was going on in the world, how hard it was to find, show the packaging in detail, things like that. So a little bit of a yin, a little bit of yang, I think enough differences to be dangerous. But once again, I'm going to ask for you guys to chime in in the comments down below. But today, what we're talking about here is profigures.com. Much akin to Ringside Collectibles back in the day, all the olden times. Ringside Collectibles had Jack's Class Superstar figure exclusives, but so did profigures.com. So did wweshop.com. It's an interesting time. We don't really have that right now. I guess you could say AEW Shop is kind of like that right now, I guess. So that's probably the best correlation to something outside of Ringside. But Pro Figures was doing these, and they seem to stay in the box era for these two. But then you get things like the LOD that was in a traditional pack. Always confusing to me. I'm never sure what the deal was with that. Honestly, these are cool, but they'd be a heck of a lot cooler if they were in the more traditional Classic Superstars packaging. So we didn't get that with these two at least. But we get some iconic figures for sure that would have warranted a spot in the traditional packaging. Dusty Rhodes and the Polka Dots. That's a lot of people's Dusty Rhodes, if you can imagine that. And then Hulk Hogan, the big bash at the beach, the big old NWO uh, join up thing an iconic iconic time for Hulk Hogan and I'm shocked we haven't got this in Mattel uh, currently I gotta think that will be on the docket in the next few years to come so let's do this review like we do all the other reviews out there let's take a look at the packaging let's talk about it let's unbox already unboxed and talk about it and see where it goes from there we're gonna start with Dusty Rhodes here very cool packaging like I said I'd prefer it in the classic superstars packaging uh, but it does look pretty cool. You got that yellow background. Of course, you got Dusty. You got his headband. You got the polka dots. And then you get Dusty Rhodes in yellow. And then you get the polka dot packaging. That is really, really cool. I do like that a whole lot. Looks really, really cool throughout here. You do get the Class Superstars logo. If it didn't have that, could we say it's Class Superstars? I don't think we could because on the back, Pay-Per-View Series 11, Deluxe Aggression being shown on the back, Series 2. If it didn't have that Classic logo, I'd say this is not Classic. There's no Classics on the back. There's nothing. Uh, but it does work for a class superstar for sure. And like I said, profigures.com. And I think profigures.com was based out of Kansas, if I remember right, like Lawrence or Topeka, something along those lines. Very interesting. But pretend I open this up and then I pull out the old Dusty Roads right here. So we get Dusty. Uh, an interesting one. Jack's always struggled a little bit, as we know, with some of the bigger guys. Uh, the Yokozuna King Kong Bundy, way, way too big. They should have saved that maybe just for Yokozuna and had a size smaller. 
Same could be said for this mold. This is like the Bam Bam Bigelow, uh, One Man Gang mold, Dusty Rhodes mold. Uh, these guys weren't all created equal. So I almost feel like Dusty should have had a much smaller mold. Not much smaller, but a little bit smaller. So this is a little bit bigger than I accustomed Dusty to be in this line as he should be. But it does work. It definitely works better than the Yokozuna body mold. That would have been atrocious if they did that. Uh, but a very good looking figure as far as Dusty goes. Like I said, for some people, his most iconic outfit he ever had was the yellow polka dots. You do get a removable bandana at the top here. So it is polka dot themed, of course. You do get his beautiful golden blonde locks. Looks really good. And then you get Dusty's face. And all day long, I love Jax. You guys know that. I wear it on my sleeve. Uh, very, very underrated in the head sculpt department. A great head sculpt for Dusty right here. Uh, I think he maybe needs a little bit more bags under his eyes. That could be lacking just a little bit, but it does look really good. And it's interesting how the difference is. On this one, he's got a little bit more bags under his eyes. This one, he does not. So I think it must have be a little bit of a variant. I don't think it's good enough to call a variant, uh, but we do see some differences there. Uh, but you get Dusty, of course. He's got his nice singlet going on. Uh, tank top, I guess, more like it. Uh, but nice quality, beautiful quality from Jax. I don't believe any staining going on. That's always uh, nice to see no staining. He does got the patented dusty birthmarks underneath, so that's great attention to detail. A little wild, but we got those going on right there. Uh, and then, like I said, the nice yellow polka dots. And the polka dots are even different colors of yellow, uh, mixed and matched. So that is a nice attention to detail. Articulation up, down, all around. You do get a bicep cut. You do get single jointed elbows, pins, of course, hands side to side. Nice yellow wrist tape sculpted in here. He does have a yellow elbow pad. He does come with the old nightstick, a throwback to his boss man feud. And you guys know Jax. They love their crazy accessories, and we get that with those. Get the polka dot tights going on. Big meaty legs down to the yellow knee pads. And then the white and yellow boots looking really good, really sharp. Cowboy boots on Dusty Rhodes. Fabulous figure. If you were around for this time of Dusty Rhodes, uh, I don't know if it's his most iconic. Really depends where you came into wrestling at. Obviously, when I was really getting ramped up and I was really jazzed up about wrestling, he was in this. So I do have fond memories of him here. But I also remember a lot of the WCW and the NWO stuff and the cowboy boots and the blood and guts. I remember that stuff, too, from my local video store. Dusty Rhodes, an underrated performer in my eyes, which that's pretty hard to say about somebody like him, but uh, Dusty had a lot of iconic matches back in the day, as we all know. But a beautiful one, a beautiful representation. My only gripe, I'd like it in the traditional classic packaging. Heck, give it a gold dust. We all saw that ringside gold dust. We'll talk about that here in these video series again. Uh, gold dust had that beautiful golden package. Give him the classic packaging, but put some polka dots on it. There you go. But it's too late. Can't go back. What year did this come out? I did forget to mention that. This was 2006. Oh, 2006. What a time to be alive 2006 was. That's. I'll leave it at that. But uh, there's Dusty. Now we turn our attention over to the Hulkster, the most iconic wrestling personality of all time. I don't know if that's changing. I would say here in the next couple of years, if it hasn't already happened, The Rock is now going to be the most iconic wrestling performer of all time. It seems crazy for somebody of my age bracket, but much younger. They know The Rock all day long from a million different things. Maybe they don't know him from wrestling as much. And that's the weird thing, too, is there's a lot of people that now don't know The Rock from wrestling. They'll know him from TV and movies. Uh, it's just time's a weird thing, as we all can probably agree. Uh, this one I'll look right off here. I think 2006. Yep, 2006 as well for this Hulkster. Uh, but a very interesting one. So you got the kind of Hulker, Hulkster background. I always hated how he's kind of angled in the packaging. I never understood that. They never did that besides this. Just very, very strange. Uh, he does come with a microphone so he can tell everybody to stick it. And that's what he's got to do. we got the Classic Superstars logo here. Hulk Hogan, uh, I don't understand this writing either. This is a very strange Hulk Hogan font. It's just different than any other Classic Superstars font. So didn't understand that either. Like I said, it has the classic on here. If it didn't have the classic, we'd be in trouble because the back does not represent any classic superstars. So the classic is what makes it classic. As a, If we're playing the old game show we love, is it a Jack's classic superstar? Uh, but still, a fabulous, fabulous figure after all these years. And I've owned this figure many a times in my life. I've had it. I've sold it. I've brought it back. So is the way of a collector, I guess we'd say, as I sold it. And I said, you know what? I, I don't need it because it's not typical classic packaging. Same with this one. 
And then I bought it back later on, and now I'm here forever with this one. And then through the power of YouTube, I have an unboxed one already going on. A fabulous Hulkster. I absolutely love this one. The cowboy boots on the bottom, very, very cool. Very iconic to the Hulkster at this time. Of course, the Hulkster weight belt going on. Got the weight belt that clips in here. Nice attention to detail. Nice exclusive uh, weight belt with him here. It says Hulkster on the back. Of course, you get Hulkster on the side. They're red and yellow. Very WCW theme. This just reminds me WCW all day long. It was just a different color red and yellow. It wasn't, it was iconic red and yellow, but it just had a different hue to it, at least in my eyes. Uh, articulation, same as Dusty Rhodes throughout, so we know about the knees, we know about the elbows. I got the hands. He's throwing up the four horseman fingers. I don't know if he was confused. He was going to join the, am I joining the horseman or am I joining the NWO? He wasn't sure. It was a game time decision. He went NWO, worked out for him, it seems like. Uh, but we do get the tear away Hulk Hogan shirt here. Of course, very patented, very iconic Hulkster. A lot of people rag on Mattel about that, but guess what? Jax brought that to fruition first. Don't forget the past, folks. We do get the uh, microphone here. It would have been nice to have a WCW logo or something like that. Don't have that going on there. Hulkster's head is a different one here. Of course, you can see his left eye is smaller than his right. He's almost kind of like this. He's got more of a little lazy eye kind of thing going on that they did put into the sculpt on a lot of the Hulk Hogan figures. So we do have that here. It does look a little strange when you look at it head on. It is a little bit strange to me. Got the big old Fu Manchu, the old brother goatee kind of going on there. We got the Hogan do-rag on top and the do-rag is removable. Got those long horseshoe locks on the back end. Uh, all bright yellow, uh, nice uh, nice flames, flames, lightning bolts, I don't know what we call these, lightning bolts, uh, graphics on the uh, do-rag looks really good, like I said, Hulkster on the shirt looks awesome as well, a very, very strong Hulk Hogan figure, very underrated and somewhat forgotten Hulk Hogan figure in the Classics line, people talk about Classic Superstars a lot, myself included, probably nobody more than me, uh, but a lot of people forget about these ones that are kind of off the beaten path. We did videos not too long ago about the LWO Eddie Guerrero, that Stone Cold in the pa in the box. Some of those things are forgotten when people talk about the Class Superstars line, and that's what this channel's for. We gotta save the history because if I go away, who's gonna tell the future generations about this stuff? Nobody else stepped up to the plate, so I had to do it. <laughs> Let me pat myself on the back. Not too hard though. Not too hard. Uh, but Dusty Hulkster Pro Figures exclusive. Not too shabby, but what say you guys out there in YouTube land? Let me know your thoughts on these. Did you ever own them? Do you like them? What do you think about this new video series where we're going to show some glamour shots of the loose stuff? Uh, kind of a yin and yang to the prior series. I would love your guys' opinion. Is it worth Kyle's time? Is it worth the time to do this? Because you're looking at probably another two years worth of videos. Who knows at this point? But it's fun Tuesday tradition to talk all things Jax, classic superstars at least once a week. So you guys chime in on all that. And then while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. Like this video. You made it this far. I appreciate the old thumbs up. It does go a long way. It means it means you like me. You really do like me. And then, of course, follow along on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. And then, of course, the Patreon. Go over to Patreon, check it out. Exclusive content, bonus content, giveaways, early access to videos. And what my mind's thinking, I'm trying to get a couple of days off here this summer. Fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed for me. I'm thinking about spending a full day, and I'm going to knock out a ton of Classic Superstars content. And I'm thinking I'll put that up maybe months ahead of time on Patreon. Because I want to get ahead of all this kind of stuff. Uh, so we'll see. I might be doing that here later on in the end of July. We'll see if that happens. But for Dusty Rhodes and Hulk Hogan, I am Kyle. And I will see you guys all real soon.